This is the M4 Mac Mini, which got the latest Apple M4 chip. I got the base variant, which has 256 GB SSD. Let's just start it. This is the box of the M4 Mac Mini. In the front, you see the M4 Mac Mini. And here, the name is Mini. Here, the name is Mac. So, to unbox it, you have to peel this off to unbox. The best part is, yeah, it comes smoothly. Box, you get the M4 Mac Mini and power cables to power the Mac Mini. And let's just check if Apple gives the sticker or not. So you get some instructions here from the Apple Mac Mini, and you can see, yeah, no stickers. I was wondering if Apple will give the stickers for this Mac Mini, but I think there is no stickers. Check the front ports and the back ports on the M4 Mac Mini. So on the front, you see the Type C ports. These are Thunderbolt Type C, which support up to 10 Gbps, one 3.5 mm headphone jack. On the back, you will see the power cord cable and one Ethernet net ports where you can connect your ethernet connection one hdmi ports three thunderbolt four type c ports which support up to 40 gbps so you are wondering where is the power button so apple made the power button on the back of the mac mini so you can see here if i place a mac mini here so let's just check if i'm able to power or not so i have to pull that up and you have to press the button apple being apple so here is my connection i have connected the hdmi cable uh, which is coming from one of the mo monitor which i am using i have connected that hdmi cable to the back port of the m4 mac mini let's boot up and see uh, i will show you the configuration part of it like booting for the very first time so i have connected all the accessories like the mouse and the keyboard and i have connected this uh, monitor with the hdmi cable so i'm booting it for the very first time so as you can see here it says namaste and you can get started you can just click on here and you can choose the language So I have booted the Mac Mini and I have signed in uh, with the my account, Apple account. Uh, so this is the home screen you see on the Apple M4 Mac Mini. First check about the section of about this Mac. So you can see it's a uh, Mac Mini 2024 and the chip is Apple M4. The memory is just 16 GB and uh, it is running Mac OS Secure 15.0. There is one update available which will uh update later on so you can see here uh, uh i have connected with the dell display uh, using the hdmi cable and the storage i am running on the base variant uh, because i can use the external dis uh, storage like ssd uh, for my use case like if you want to do a editing basic editing on the final cut pro uh, i can use this uh, mac mini for editing uh, so I don't need a uh, higher storage because uh, if you go with the higher storage, you have to pay for more uh, that uh, this Mac mini uh, I bought it uh, on 59,990 INR. So if you go with, uh, go for other variant like higher storage, the price will increase. And if you opt for a 10 GB Ethernet interface card that will also cost more you have to pay 10,000 extra but this is the base one i got only one gig in uh, ethernet interface card also this mac mini has 10 core cpu and 10 core gpu so let me walk you around the apple website and you can check a look for the mac mini which i have so this is a mac mini this is a very tiny mac mini as we have seen that and it's built for apple intelligence so i can run uh, natively apple intelligence so i would have to upgrade to that firmware version uh the latest one mac was secure uh, so i can i i will see the uh, apple intelligence uh, the features so if you see uh you can uh connect this mac mini with external displays like uh, your third party it, it doesn't require to go with the uh, the apple display and the apple mouse in the keyboard so you can see on the back uh, this is how the ventilation and the heat process you can see and you you don't even hear a sound uh, of the 
uh, CPU inside the Mac Mini. It's quite, as you can see here, built to chill because this is small space uh, and it got whole new thermal in the Apple M4. Um, I have run the Geekbench score, so I will show you that later on. So first of all, you will see here right now the types of Macs which you can get here. So we can check the tech specs here. Right now I got the base variant here, the price of 59900 and it got 10 core CPU, 10 core GPU as well as uh, the 16 GB that the base variant uh, and all M4 line are uh, standard they have set on 16 gb previously it was only on the 8 gb so which was quite low so now they have uh, put 16 gb on the standard base model but you can opt for higher uh, ram also that will cost more so right now you can go up to 24 gb 32 gb and for, uh, with the m4 pro you can go up to 48 or 64 gb and similarly for the storage also uh, here the base got 256 which I have and um, you can go up to 2 TB and uh, if you consider for the M4 Pro it goes up to 8 TB so you can select the multiple displays as I have already told so you can uh, connect your uh, simultaneously up to support up to 3 displays so you can use that and as we have already seen that uh, the front port and the back port uh, it HDMI, Ethernet and Thunderbolt port and it's also support Wi-Fi 6E which is 802.11ax and the Bluetooth standard support 5.3 and Ethernet goes up to RJ45 connector like 1 gig RJ45 but it can be configurable you have to pay extra for the 10 GB Ethernet and uh, it support 1 GB 2.55 10 GB if you, you go for the 10 GB you can uh, like backward compatible to 2.5 GB 1 GB and 5, uh, 5 GB also you can use that and you can see the size of this Mac like uh, the breadth and the width you can see here 5 inch and 1.96 inch height and 5 inch of width and the depth is also 5 inch and uh, it's not quite heavy like it's very light in weight and this is the very first time they have um, uh, uh, brought the Mac uh, Mini with the new design. Previously, it was, uh, f uh, I mean, uh, the width uh, and height was quite, uh, I mean, more than this Mac Mini. So, first check the Geekbench score. I have already run the Geekbench, so let me open that. Okay, so I have to run the CPU benchmark and the GPU. So let me check if i have already so you can check here the device is uh, uh, running mac os 15.0 build and the model is mac 16 that uh, comma 10 and the cpu is apple m4 which runs 4.40 gigahertz frequency and the cpu id is m4 and l1 data cache of 64 l1 instruction cache of 128 so you can read that out so i will just go ahead and run the cpu benchmark it, it will take some time to run that benchmark so in that way you can uh, check for the single core and the multi-core cpu uh, um, of course uh, it will be less than the higher end mac mini which is m4 pro but still it is quite uh, jump in the improvement uh, from the previous mac mini so uh, you can run daily uh, basis uh, like uh, use cases you can uh, edit your uh, videos uh, using the final cut pro even you can use uh, the premiere pro i will have to test that uh, the rendering uh, because i've just booted it and i've just set up people for the first time but i'm sure uh, them uh, this uh, macbook uh, mac mini m4 uh, will support uh, Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro without any issue, so I have to check the rendering time. But uh, this latest M4 has uh, the single core and the multi core CPU is also improvement. So it's uh, running. Uh, once that is completed, I will show you. After that, I will show you the speed test. Like I'm running, uh, I'm connected through Wi Fi, so I will uh, show the speed on the how much speed I'm getting right now, and it is connected on the uh 802.11 a standard or 
depending on my Wi-Fi networks, I have a U7 Pro from the Ubiquiti U7 Pro that support 802.11, uh, like the Wi-Fi 7 standard, but it, it will connect to AX. So we'll check, we'll check that. In the meantime, let me go ahead and check the speed here, fast.com. So you can uh, get to know the speed uh, on this Mac. The Wi-Fi, you can see right now it's connected. Also, let me go through the settings page and uh, here you can check the storage. So right now you can check, uh, this is the 245. 11 GB they it got and uh, from the 256 GB SSD and right now it's utilized 33.54 GB so this is a base variant so you will get like uh, this much of storage but I won't recommend to keep the data on this Mac for the storage purpose if you want to use you can uh, connect it with the external SSD and hard drive so right now you can see here the storage. Uh, let me show you this part. Also, it has inbuilt everything uh, like iPhone mi mirroring. Also, you can have an iPhone mir mirroring. Also, you can run that. Still not completed. Under the about, I've already shown you it's running Mac OS. So let me check if it's a uh, firmware update available or not. So the G Geekbench uh, score is completed. Now the single core is 3721 and the multi core goes up to 12605. And you can see here uh, Mac OS architecture 64 and the model is uh, operating system running Mac OS 15.0 Apple M4 processor, topology one processor, one processor 10 cores and the base frequency of 4.40 gigahertz and the plus is 4 core 6 cores and here you can see the single core performance and this is the multi core performance photo pdf render everything ray tracer hdr even you can run uh, the gpu also uh, which will uh, run the GPU API, OpenCL and Apple M4 like machine learning and computer vision so it will give you real world applications uh, well, it will test the real world applications so you can go ahead and run the GPU benchmark also so in that way you can get an idea uh, what the score of the CPU as GPU as this base variant has 10 core CPU and 10 core GPU. If you go with the uh, like the 512 GPU or 1 TB uh, storage, like uh, where you can expand the RAM, uh, it got uh, no. Uh, I think M4 Pro got uh, a 12 core CPU and 16 core GPU. If I'm not wrong, yeah. Let me confirm it here. Yes, yeah. It got M4 Pro. Pro chip got 12 core CPU and 16 core GPU and all these M4 got only 10 core CPU and 10 core GPU that's a difference you go with it. but it's uh, if you see the price comparison also it costs 59,900 and it goes up to 1,49,900 so you can see the differences so this is the GPU score you can see 36,870 and here we will see uh, the information of the open CL cores like uh, the background blur and the phase detection, horizon detection. So yeah, so let's do one testing of uh, the Mac mini M4. How does it perform when exporting a video from the screen studio? So this is the app I use to record a video on the screen. So as you can see, I am scrolling between uh, the instance and it does not lag so uh, what was the issues in my previous macbook at m1 so when i try to export uh, any videos like uh, the video length and time is around 10 minutes so uh, when i try to export that it takes almost like 40 or th uh, 45 minutes and uh, i cannot uh, do uh, i cannot run any applications it uh, it went slow and it's very sluggish and I can't run any application so that is not uh, very useful in that so when you try to export that uh, you don't have to touch your MacBook Air M1 
so uh, i thought i should test uh, this m4 mac mini uh, with the real uh, videos uh, i can try to export and see uh, this will be the 4k video so uh, we'll see how much time is does it take from the previous m1 series so let's try to export and uh, as you can see here there is a compression level right now you can even set to web low uh, web and social media and the studio so this is uh, the highest quality even you can set the output size for example 720 1080 and the 4k so as you can see here uh, the difference is here the 720 estimated export time 9 minutes and if you go on for 1080p it uh, 12 minutes and maximum output size is 650 megabytes so again go for 4k you can see export time is 27 minutes uh, but in the previous uh, m1r it quite takes some time so let's try to export and uh, as you can see here it's exporting video uh 1.5% 1.7% so let's check how much time it takes and you can see the timestamp here it's just started 26 seconds ago and right now it says uh, this much minutes left so we'll see so uh, as I said like in M1 Air when I try to export I can't run any other application so I will try to browse uh, anything on the M4 Mac mini and see does it feel any lag or not can see you can see i can run because it got 16 gb of ram so uh it will feel smooth as compared to the other so we can go here i can uh, go to this website and i can run this so it is working and you can see it's still exporting so i think that's a quite improvement from the previous gen because in the mnr i was not able to do anything like i can't even uh, run one applications uh, by opening one application it uh, takes quite some time so yeah this is uh, the improvement from the previous uh, m4 m1 mac uh, air to the m1 m4 mac mini so i will keep this running so you got an idea like uh, how does it uh, uh, performing from the previous gen m1 to m4 so it's quite jump in the improvement uh, because uh, this is my use case i uh, record a video on this uh, screen studio app uh, for the mac and i export it uh from the macbook air so right now i will export it here and then i will uh, open the final cut pro here and see if i can see the final cut pro i have to use a uh, login of the my previous uh, mac mini so i can use right now it's saying me to pay for that so as you know i will get the final cut pro and i will also test that but uh, you got uh, to know that uh, this is uh quite improved from the previous uh mac air m1 so this m4 mac mini has a lot uh 10 core cpu 10 core gpu so you will see the improvements in that so this was my like uh, overview and the first time setup of this uh, apple m4 mac mini on my channel so i hope you will like this video if you have any questions or any uh uh, if you want to comment and let me know if you have any questions uh, like uh, what test I can do for you anything you have you can just let me know in the comment if you have not followed my channel please follow my channel thanks for watching see you in the next video bye